there's been some questions concerning um, how to use thermal and precision versus non-precision thermal and the like. Uh, some of this gets pretty technical, and I'm not a technical person, so I'll just share what I know. Um, currently, I've got my drone sitting out on my patio. It's a little cool out, so I thought I'd just sit here and have a general discussion about this device. So I'm going to put my magnifiers on, as I normally wear when I'm flying, and I'm looking at the controller, and you should be able to see the same screen that I have. So what we've got is if I go and turn on infrared, I'm going to push the little IR button on the left. There we're IR, and what mode am I? If I look, I'm white hot right now. And I'm zoomed in. I'll zoom out all the way. So there we go. And notice 4 to 302 degrees is the mode. If I push that mode button, it's going to change, and it's going to tell me, switch successfully wider temperature measurement. Now I'm at 32, 32 to 932 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see, currently, I am highlighted. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now, if I go to mode here, I'm just going to quick check. I will talk through the temperature measurements. So right now... Here's white hot with a temperature range of 32 to 932. And by the way, you see up here to the right of where it says mode 32, 932, there's an SBS button. That means side by side. So there you can see I'm viewing visible and infrared. And if I zoom in, they're both calibrated. They both will zoom. Now, the reason they're doing that is because I have this to the right of where it says CV1. Notice that little yellow. If I push that, zoom link is disabled now. So now when I'm zooming, it's only zooming on the visible side. But you'll notice on the, on the infrared side, there is brackets. There are brackets. As soon as I push this link, it's going to synchronize the zoom as best it can. Okay? Now, FFC is calibration. So you click it once. I use it, I think it's automatic, but I'll do it when I start a flight. I'll hit FFC just to calibrate the infrared. Now I'm going to shut off side by side. We're going to focus on, on infrared. So right now it's on white hot. If I go black hot, I just click the screen with my finger. There I'm black hot. Anything that's warm is going to be black. And then if I go to iron red, you'll see anything that's warm is going to be real bright uh, color. And I can also click right on the screen. There you can see now I'm doing a temperature measurement of that white hot area. It's 81, uh, 79 to 80 degrees. You see, zooming in. I can also box in. I just take my finger on the screen and box in. Now it's going to give me the low and high temperatures that it sees while it's in there. What you know what's in that box. So that's a very nice feature if you're doing industrial measurements. Now the other I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna change the mode back from nine from 32 to 932. I'm gonna click it and now we're back to a, a narrower range. So now we're 4 to 302. That's normally where I run it. So I'm going to click on the rainbow. Just, you see where it says IR 3.0, right to the right of the, the light in my shop? I click that, and here I have my different settings. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on black hot. Click off. There we go. I'm black hot right now. Anything, that, anything that's, that's black is, is warm. Okay? So now... I'm going to go click back on it to the right of where you change your modes. You see there's a little temperature gauge. If I click that, right now, if I click this turn that on, I can set my range. So, for example, I can grab with my finger, change my range. Now I'm going to go ahead and move over a little bit here. 
there you can see as I make changes how this will look. There I took minus four. See, I can really drill in. So say I'm a searching person. I'm doing search and rescue. I want to set this, let's say, for 50 degrees. And the high side, I want to set it maybe 100 degrees. And now, if I go back, even though I'm in black hot, you see it's, it's, it is using color. If I go to white hot, there's a lot of color there now. There's an awful lot of color, so let's go back to the temperature change. Let's now I can also click these little plus and minuses. You see? Now I'm wiping out the low side there. Now it's just highlighting the human that's in the photo. And I'll drop the temperature on the high side down. So I want to search between 68 and 86 degrees. Now I'll click here. Even though I'm in black hot mode, even if I'm in white hot mode, you see anything that meets that that color requirement will be highlighted. So it's a pretty nifty feature. And again, if I go and change the mode from 4 degrees to 300 back to wider or less precision, now I'm at 32 to 932 degrees, a little blurrier on the image, you notice. I can zoom in and zoom out. I click the I click the IR. I'm still on black hot. I click the temperature. I turned it on here. It does remember the last time I used it. So each mode, whether you're wide or precision on your temperature on your IR, you it'll remember the settings you last used. So 156 high side, 75 on the low. You see I'm highlighted. Uh, there's my feet, you kind of see, my knees, and that. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the narrow or precision temperature measurements. There you go. I had someone try to tell me that IR doesn't measure temperature. Uh, yes, it does. It, it, it responds in temperature settings. Um, it's, it's thermography, uh, but if I look, I can see the temperatures within the areas I'm interested in. So it does report to me temperatures. Um, okay, so again, if I zoom in, you'll see the, the precision or the IR is not as detailed as when I'm zoomed out. And I will do some flights uh, with this. But I wanted to share with you some of these settings on IR uh, as well. Uh, not sure if there's anything else we need to really talk about. Uh, what I s covered with you was the IR modes, zoom link, uh, and side-by-side -side SBS. So there you can see a side-by-side -side image, zoom in, zoom out, okay? So hopefully that covers some of the questions we had concerning uh, using IR on a DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Thermal. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.